A small restaurant facing big accusations. I'm your North End neighborhood reporter Brendan Jones outside Apresina, a Hyde Park restaurant that's been receiving criticism from former employees who say the owner hasn't paid them for their work. I spoke to multiple people who shared their stories and they say all they want is their money. Will workers at this North End Boise restaurant get their wages? It's a topic that caught my attention when I saw a local Facebook post going viral. The person who posted it alleged that she worked at Apresina in Hyde Park for five days in January, but never saw a paycheck. So I sat down with Chani Mosier to hear her out. She says the red flag started flying on her first day on the job. It was payday, so a lot of employees were in to get their paychecks, but the paychecks weren't done. Moser said these warning signs continued through the next week she worked. And after hearing stories about others waiting to be paid, she decided she wanted to quit. I can't work for somebody who blatantly doesn't pay people. I talked with other former employees who tell me it happened on several occasions. The paychecks came in and I didn't have them. And then I found out that they pay a month behind is what I was told. After Mosier quit, she requested a paycheck, just under $500. The following payday came and they didn't, it didn't show up on that payday. The payday after that came and it didn't show up on that payday. Um, and so I submitted a claim with the Idaho Department of Labor in February. Mosier shared those documents with me. In the total award, they said $964. The original amount almost doubled because Mosier was awarded penalties. She says two months after she made the claim, she still hasn't seen any money. Mosier wasn't the only one to bring her concerns to the authorities. While digging through court documents, I found an active small claims case against owner Danielle Christine here in Ada County. It says a check was paid for $444, but it bounced, so she claims she still waited waiting for her wages. So I spoke with the woman who filed the suit. And ultimately, I just worked there four days. This is Ella Hoffine. Like Mosier, she quit after just a handful of shifts in February. She says it took her weeks to get a paycheck. And when she tried to cash it, it said that the account was like bouncing for insufficient funds. Hoffine says she calculated what she's owed and now she's taking Christine to court. I've put more hours into trying to get my first paycheck than I think I ever spent working at the restaurant. Christine declined to meet me for an interview, but she did send me some documents that claim checks bounced because the restaurant switched banks. She also says she made that clear to Hoffine. Ada County sent me Christine's response to the lawsuit in which she claims Hoffine has been paid what she is owed and that the former employee is demanding much more than what she's entitled to. Hoffine says those are fees and penalties she's entitled to as a result of the unpaid wages. As for Mosier's claims to the Department of Labor, Christine says she's issued those payments. Mediation in the civil lawsuit is scheduled for May 22nd. For the former employees, they say the situation they've been put through isn't right. A couple paychecks isn't a big deal to her, but that could be a make or break situation for somebody trying to pay rent or take care of their families. Former employees have organized a demonstration outside the restaurant Friday night at 6 p.m. Reporting outside Apresina, I'm your North End Neighborhood reporter Brendan Jones for Idaho News 6.